This is Dave and Dalton here at Coyote Classics, and today we're checking out a really badass 1971 Camaro. I like this one. Yeah, Dave's a big Camaro guy. I'm a big second-gen Camaro guy. Um, I love the split bumpers. This one's got them. And it's it's a real deal because it has the yeah, light a, on the inside. It's a good way to tell. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, the, the non-Z28s, they don't have that. And it uh, just has a, a different there. look to it, yeah. Oh, and the color's beautiful. I, I oh, haven't gorgeous. seen any in this blue with the black stripes. It's really sharp. But the best part about this car is just how massive that engine is. It's actually nuts. Um, I believe the guys decoded it to a 454, but anyway, big block V8, and it just looks massive in that engine compartment. Serpentine belt. I see it's got power steering, which is always important to me, and power brakes. Yep, to... that's huge. Um, fiberglass hood. Yep. So with that lightweight hood, big cowl, you know, to, to fit that engine. Um, looks great. I don't see any cracks or anything in that fiberglass hood. Looks nice, but you know the gap is a little bit wider uh, from the fender, but for a fiberglass hood, it really lines up pretty well. Um, the big thing with this car, you know, we buffed it out. It's got a beautiful shine, but as we go around it, there's a few, you'll see some chips. There's a little chip there, a little chip there and there. I mean, this thing was built built to drive and enjoy. I don't, I don't know what the hell. Murphy, we're trying to do a video here. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, chrome bumpers are nice. This thing's just got the look. I love the Z28 wheels on these second gens too. I was just gonna too. say that myself, you know, with BFGs, that's awesome. Front bumpers, what little bumpers they are, they're, they're in good shape. They're good repair, yep. Uh, front grille looks like it could almost be original, just some minor like age on that, but it looks nice. You just can't beat the front end of a, yeah. Always loved them. And some little stone chips down there behind that tire. This is a car too that looks like a show car from just a few feet away. Yeah, it's got a beautiful look and, and uh, door fits really well too. You know, besides like the few little rock chips, I mean, when I was doing photos of it today, you know, I didn't see any bubbles or blisters. Corner of the doors yeah, are nice. These doors fit well. You know, all the, the trim around the glass is in good shape as well. Front windshield's clear. Up over the roof looks good. This is super typical on any of these second yeah. gens. Seems like every one of them's got like a little paint crack there. Um, you know, diagonal from the corner of the window. I've always loved the 70s seats that look like mm -hmm. this, yeah. Hey, these cars are a lot more comfortable, in yes. my opinion, than like for me being a bigger guy, these cars are way, Murphy agrees, don't you? <laughs> Barked. Um, these cars are a lot more comfortable than like the first gens, in my opinion. Chad bought a brand new SS steering wheel okay. put on there. It had like a little goofy, you know, goofy wheel on it. Uh -huh. um, and so, I, you know, he, he had bought that as in the box, and so we put that on there. It looks a lot better. You know, it's not original, but uh, those are three hundred dollar wheels. It looks a lot better than a little dinky oh, like go kart it. wheel yeah. on there. Yeah. Uh, dash pad's it nice. Looks new. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Um, seats are in good shape. Corner of the door I showed you was rust free. Door jam paint's nice. Headliner, like towards the back, it's got you know it could be tightened up a little bit, but uh, towards to the front here by the visor is nice and tight. That little chip here on the edge of the door. Yeah, and just the back glass looks to be original. He's got some little micro scratches and things like that. I mean, this is a, a driver, really good looking driver you can take to a local car show, but um, this thing was built to have fun with, drive and enjoy, and that's what I would do with it, Dave. How about you? That's exactly what I would do with yeah. it. Maybe um, buy new back tires every once in a while. <laughs> and I think we just put some new ones on too, looks so you like should it. be set. Um, you know, just to, and these hold up really well, these BFGs. Do. They're, they're a good tire. We like putting them on, and you're right, they do hold up well. Um, Another thing on this one too that is different is just the spoiler from across the top lines up well. Yeah. So many of these are, good. like with the Trans Ams too, so many are, are so off, but uh, lines up lines up real well there. And it's that taller bumper, I like that, rather than the short one. Yeah, there's kind of a debate going on. I, Ch Chad likes the short one. I'm, I'm the tail lights. I'm kind of right between. Ahead. Yeah, tail lights oh, are awesome. So obviously. Chad likes what now? Chad likes the little short one. Oh, short he does, one. okay. I like the full size one. Yeah, my opinion changes with the wind. Sometimes I like the tall one. But look how cool this is right here, the design. It is damn cool. And look how cool the taillights are. I, I think mean, you just sold me on the tall spoiler, Dave. I know I did. 
but it's a really straight car up and down. Again, just some little stone chips, but no bubbles or blisters here on the rear quarters. And I've always loved this on, instead of coming down right here, yeah. like in the older or the newer 70s. Yeah. yeah, that straight back, it just has a- I like that, it's got a kind of really good look. Yeah, these Camaros, I know a lot of guys love the first gens. You're a first gen guy, but. I am a first gen, but I really like these too. The yeah, split bumpers. These are my favorite. If I could pick any car, it'd be a 70, really? you know, Z28 okay. Camaro. Just cause they handle so nice, they're comfortable and they're just quite frankly, pretty badass cars. Um, little stone chip there, corner of the door looks good. Small little maybe looks like a paint run or something right here, but uh, fits nice. Door panels are in good shape. Um, just your minor, I didn't really see much for wear on this one at all. Um, no cracks in the dash. Looks like they put a newer style uh, radio in it, fits in the stock spot. It's got a B&M uh, shifter, some aftermarket gauges there. But uh, seats are in nice shape. Back seat looks nice as well, and they do have a couple speakers in the back package tray. This side doesn't, um, maybe very, very smallly has that an old paint crack there. Sweet car. Should we, uh, it's about 30 mile an hour wind, but should we brave the wind and take it out yeah, the road a little bit? Yeah, let's take it out. Let's All have right. some fun. So now we're behind the wheel here. Um, horn works. It's got a digital tack up here, which is pretty neat. Never really seen that before. Um, let's see what else. We've got heater fan. Sounds like that's working, but the motor's too damn loud to tell for yeah, sure. Yeah, it is hard to hear. Radio, I'm sure it will work, but a lot of times my problem is figuring these radios out. So every one of them's different. It's around AM right now. Yeah, this setup. And you also have, that's kind of nice too, Dave pointed out. Yeah. You, got, you can plug your USB in, charge your phone, or, or your aux. Uh, carries really good oil pressure down here. Uh, 55 pounds, getting warmed up. Uh, the volt gauge works too. Another thing I noted with this car is the BNM shifter. I'll hand that over to you, Dave. Yep. But the uh, BNM shifter, some of them are really kind of sloppy or hard to go into gear. Not this one. I mean, this one's really smooth, reverse, neutral, drive. Um, works well. I can already tell this thing could be a lot of fun too. right back in your seat. I like it. I'm not I'm not usually as crazy as Chad is. So <laughs> if Chad was here it'd probably be a little more fun test drive than it's gonna be with me. But it does have a kill switch down here, Dave mentioned to me. So when you get in, you know you kill switch there. To turn it on and to turn it off. Yep. So if you wanna make sure you know your buddy don't drive it, just don't tell him about it and then you there won't you be able go. to drive it. section of the video but uh this camera can get you in a lot of trouble and also uh put a big ass smile on your face so it will put a smile on your face for sure absolutely thanks for watching we'll see you next time